Good morning. Good morning. City of Toronto just issued an extreme heat alert. Mm -hmm. Just let you know. We're going to talk a little bit about gardening. I want to quiz you. Have some fun. So yes. I have some things that you would find around your kitchen, around your home. There's solutions for some of the problems that you may be having at home. And easy because things that are already kicking around. Kicking around. Yeah. So first question is just the insects on your plants. How could you get rid of some of the insects on your plants? I would just vacuum them off. Uh, so you are right. Are you kidding? Totally oh, kidding. yeah. You know what? The vacuum is probably one of the handiest tools that you could use. Let's say that you have some ants walking inside your home. You can just vacuum them up. Uh, even if you have them on your plants, aphids on your plants, using a vacuum is a really good thing. Many pest management companies, the first thing that they'll do, let's say that there's wasps inside your wall, they'll just take a shop vac, stick really? it in, and try to vacuum as many insects out as possible. But that so doesn't this is get great. rid of them completely, though. That's just sort of temporary fix. Temporary yeah. fix. Uh, you know, you can use your dish soap here as well. Mm -hmm. Dish soap mixed with water is really an insecticidal soap. You want to be careful with your mixtures. Uh, I'll put that later on. I'll, I'll tweet it out, actually, proportions. On, on proportions. Okay. Okay. You want to be careful, but dish soap and water is one of the oldest things. Remember, pioneers. Yes. After they used to have a bath, they didn't have the ability just to pull the plug and the water go through. They would take that soapy water and throw it over their vegetable gardens. That would water their garden and put yes. insecticidal soap to help it out. So there you go with insects. Okay. Okay. I so got one right. You got one right. Let's talk about moles. Moles are those that walk underneath the ground, mm -hmm. and a lot of the times they're eating grubs. Yes. But how could you discourage moles from your property? Which one here okay. would do that? You're talking about eating, and like when when I don't want my dog to eat bad things, I you put like sort of a hot thing. So I'm right. going to say the crushed red pepper. Cayenne pepper is no, not oh. for moles. However, since you went there, uh, the cayenne pepper is generally used as a deterrent, sometimes yeah. for squirrels and raccoons and things like right. that. Well, they'll put that in some areas. A lot of the things that you'll see squirrel away in mixes and even critter ritter, if you look, they're just based out of cayenne pepper. Huh? So this is an old solution. But for moles, what you're going to do is you're going to take the empty wine bottle. Empty is important. Yeah. Drink it first. Yeah, drink it first. <laughs> yes. You're going to bury the wine bottle, and okay. as wind passes across that wine bottle, it vibrates the inside of the bottle. Oh, so cool. any mice or moles that are underground, it just drives them nuts. Does it and matter so, which one? Like, you know, you're going to bury it, so the stem is going to be out of the ground. The oh, okay. wind's going to go over sense. the stem. Yep. And a lot of the times, you know those old windmills that you would see in the gardens? The That's reason like why they move. would put them in, those whirly jigs, is uh -huh. they would vibrate the pole. Which also keeps mice and moles away it's really from the garden. Smart. Okay. Okay. So Excellent. slug control. Slugs. Okay. I know this. Beer. Yeah. You beer. Use beer. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a container like this. You're going to sink that right down to ground level. Mm -hmm. You're going to take some beer. You're going to fill it up with some beer. And with that, the slugs are attracted to the beer. They dive in. They, they die in and uh, they dive in and dive die. in and die in. Yeah. There's even a study out of the U.S. which beer works the best. Uh, that hasn't been a Canadian study. Also, what you can use with slugs is if you see a slug in your garden, mm -hmm. uh, all you need to do is just take some salt and if you just dash some salt on them it dehydrates them immediately but you don't want to put too much salt into your garden obviously not too much yeah. but just by doing and this is what they do in the UK all the time there's yeah. salt there are little slugs that are out there finally if you're wondering why I have a banana yes, why? remember that a banana peel can be used underneath roses mm -hmm. classic to help really feed the rose it adds potassium and the reason why I have sugar here is if you take sugar and borax and mix it together, it'll attract ants. The ants will take that sugar and borax back into the mound, and with that, they'll feel, feed the queen ant, and usually you'll get rid of the colony that way. Very, very smart. So okay, there are, cool there are more things. tips. Obviously, you're going to have that posted at Frank, at Frankie Flowers. At Frankie Flowers, at Frank Ferragini, forgive me. At, at Frank Ferragini, Frank, yeah. At Frank Ferragini is where I'll tweet out this mix here, and then take a look at frankieflowers.com for more solutions. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes your solution's right inside your home. There you have it. All right, thank you very much, Frank. Thank We're going you. over to... Vacuum it up. Kevin and Rob.